Legends of the Southwest Conference is brought to you by the Jefferson Pilot Companies. In a state where football legends stand tall, Bob Lilly could be head and shoulders above the rest. He is a native Texan and played all but one year of his entire football life in the Lone Star State. He excelled as a defensive tackle at TCU, becoming an all-conference performer twice and an All-American as a senior in 1960. I've always said I was the cheapest uh, recruit that TCU or any, anybody ever had, I guess. You know, I, I hear all these stories about these young athletes getting all this money to go to college, and, and I remember that they sent me a one-cent postcard, which, you know, they don't even have one-cent postcards anymore now, and said, would you like to go to TCU and have a full scholarship? If so, please let us know. And I think I signed that same card and said yes and put a stamp on it and sent it back. And I'll never forget when all the students came in. Everybody wore, they were all wearing slacks and sports coats, and most of them had a car, and I couldn't believe it. I, I just was amazed and uh, felt kind of shoddy. And uh, so I guess that's when I really got motivated to uh, play hard in football and maybe get into professional football. That was the dream that I developed that first couple of years at TCU. After terrorizing the Southwest Conference for three years, Lilly made his mark on the NFL, wearing number 74 as a member of the Dallas Cowboys, where he earned a spot in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. All this for a guy who didn't particularly care for the game as a youngster. By the time I was an eighth grader, I was about six foot two, and I weighed about 150 pounds, and I'd played, I played the sixth grade, well, spring of the sixth grade, I came out for football, and by the time I was in eighth grade, I was tall and skinny and, and just totally uncoordinated and hated football by that time as far as the playing of it because I would get knocked down every time and it just wasn't any fun. First day of practice in my sixth grade, the first day the coach was a big guy. He was about my size now. And he hit me with the forearm and in the nose. He didn't intend to, but it blooded my nose, broke my nose. And I wanted to quit, but I was afraid to. <laughs> but he never quit. And due to his superb skills at the game, Lilly found out he had a knack for something which would lead him to a career after his playing days were over. One of the All-American teams that I made was, was the coaches All-American team, which was sponsored by Kodak, Eastman Kodak Company. And uh, they gave us a box of film, and they gave us a camera. And it was sort of like football when I was little. I just, you know, it got in my blood, shooting pictures and seeing images come up. He now owns his own photography and art gallery just across the border from Texas in Mesilla, New Mexico. And along with associates Dee Wooten and David Jaffre, Lily is ready to make his mark again. I always wanted to put in a little gallery and just put out some of my prints. And, and uh, that would give me a motivation to, you know, continue with this hobby. And it's worked real well. I've, I've had it this first year I've been in business. I haven't been in business a year. But uh, I've sold quite a few prints and learned a lot. And, actually learning to become a merchant, you know, just uh, by doing this, and it's really been enjoyable. Legends of the Southwest Conference has been brought to you by the Jefferson Pilot Companies.